Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to The Witcher 3. And hey, before we get uh, started with today's episode, I have something I'd like to tell you guys, which is uh, we've been talking about it for a good long while. I have clarified the date uh, for this happening. We're going to stream The Witcher 3 over on Twitch for a couple of days next week. As this video releases, it is November 30th. Yes, November 30th. One week Wednesday. One week from today, December 7th. Um, we are going to stream The Witcher at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we're going to do it for a couple days after that. So December 7th, 8th, and 9th, that's a Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We're going to stream The Witcher for probably three or four hours at a time, starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All this will be in the description below and a link to uh, the Twitch channel if you want to join. Um, why am I telling you this? Uh, first off, if you want to join, freaking come join. Tell me uh, about some of the Witcher stuff that you wanted to nerd out about for a long time. Uh, we did this with Skyrim back in the day, and we've done it with some other games, and it is always a great time because I get to interact in real time with people who are passionate about the game, and they get to tell me stuff that they've been wanting to tell me for a while, minus some major, you know, backseat or tippy, tips, tips kind of stuff. Um, but we, we kind of loosen the reins a little bit on backseating and... Uh, and lore, and I get to meet you guys and be excited about the game with you. Uh, so I'm telling you that if you want to join, come do it. We'll at least do it on December 7th and 8th. I think we'll I think we'll probably do it on the 9th, depending on how it goes. I have some ideas for what we'll do, but I hope it goes well and we continue to do it for a couple days. Um, if you do not want to join, that's okay. The episodes will start... Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The normal episodes that you would normally get five days a week will be put on pause shortly after we record those streams because the streams will come out as episodes um broken down into little chunks uh maybe hour long or so uh so you can watch those if you missed the streams uh you can also just skip them if you don't want to those will probably here's what i'm thinking here's what i'm thinking and you guys can tell me how you how you feel about it for streams i think i would like to do uh no main quest stuff no even i, I don't even really want to do some of the like major side quests uh, in this DLC. What I want to do is some of the potentially more grindy stuff just to give us a chance to play The Witcher together. I'm thinking uh, maybe some Ducal Camera Lingo stuff here. I'm thinking some Gwent games, some major... We have so many freaking games to play to get our cards and stuff. Uh, maybe grinding for the uh, Ursine Gear... Or finding the Ursine Gear diagram uh, for Grandmaster... Stuff like that. You guys tell me what you'd like to see. Um, yeah, I just figured I would let you know about that. Anyways, I've talked for far too uh, much at the start of this episode. I'll be reminding you as as future episodes come out. But if you want to join, December 7th and 8th, probably the 9th as well. Uh, if you don't want to, that's okay. They'll come to here as episodes. And if you don't want to watch those because you don't like the grindy stuff, that's okay too. We'll, we'll pick back up normal episodes as soon as all that stuff is done. So... I think that's all I had to say. Hey, welcome back to uh, the Blood and Wine DLC. Welcome to episode 23, I believe. Uh, 23 of the Blood and Wine DLC. Uh, last time, we are working through the Wine Wars quests uh, on both sides of it, Vermentino and uh, the other one, uh, Coronado. And... In the process, uh, fighting a lot of hard beasts, and in the process, we also happened upon this place with a dead body and uh, some blood here, and I accidentally clicked on this dead body when I was getting our video started earlier, so. Man, bled to death. Dead guy. Big beast inflicted these wounds, clear from the claw marks. Must have a toothy smile, too, judging by what ripped his throat open. A toothy smile. Uh, and some big fucking paws. Signs of a fight. Paw prints, beastly ones, that's clear. Just on this spot, though. Hmm. Aerial attack. Must have been. Okay. Draconid. Gotta be. Maybe a basilisk? Except these prints don't belong to any variety I know. Just a little different. A little different than a ba- Oh, uh, cutscene? What do you think, Geralt? What is it? Oh, hello, friend. Area's dangerous. It's the beast. I'd say there's a basilisk nesting around here. You'd be wise to remain at some distance. 
Yes, I'm familiar with the matter, and quite proud to say a basilisk does nest here. I look after it personally. Look after it? It's not what? exactly a pet. Beasts murdering folk who come through here. Just a minute. It does not murder those who do not trespass upon its territory. Ah. You post those warnings? Indeed. To prevent anyone from coming to any harm. Well, a lot of good they did. Got a freshly mangled corpse right here. Most likely a merchant, the poor bloke. Just today, I learned two traders had chosen this route despite the signs. I came as quick as I could to warn them. Too late, alas. Do you I've own the route? Servants. They shall take the body, return it to the family with a generous sum as recompense. Uh, as recompense? The guy doesn't have his life. The families don't have their... their family members. What the fuck? What's happening here? You pay off the families. <sighs> pay the victim's family's compensation. That's such a rich person my idea of solving a problem. Been my families for decades, granted to us by Duchess Ademarta. Beyond them, the basilisk ventures not, hunts not, it does not kill or destroy. Hmm. Provided it is not provoked. Yet if it does destroy, if it kills, I compensate all for the loss from my own coffers. <sighs> Your coffers? Got a store of sons and husbands in there to compensate <laughs> for those shredded by your beast? Naturally, I cannot revive the dead. Naturally. But I do make generous restitution of to course. their loved ones. Just last summer, I paid a leather tooler's widow 800 <coughs> crowns. This unfortunate merchant's family to be duly indemnified as well. And I suppose I'm just supposed to say that's fantastic and then we're good? I'm not saying I'm trying to kill your basilisk, but I also don't know that that makes everything okay. Um, this is the last surviving basilisk? You plan to stick to that story? Claim this to be the last surviving basilisk? How do you figure? The last of this subspecies. Okay. Their population was much larger at one time, see? Before the beech forests were felled. Mean to suggest a direct correlation between beechwood forest density and basilisk populations? Indirect, I'd prefer to contend. Beechwood forests are the chief habitat of roe deer, you see. In Ecology, turn, all right. staple of the basilisk diet. Maybe I do when like this guy. When roe deer grew scarce, basilisks made humans their staple food. Enter the witchers. And thus, we've come to this one last specimen. It's a female. As recently as last year, we still had two. But your cast's mate passed on, alas. Your cast? Should she not have a name? My father dubbed her in honor of my dear departed mother. Your cast was brooding then. Two eggs. That she cast from her nest, alas, when the male perished. All right, homie, what's your name? What's your name? Talk to me, and also I'm going to talk to you. And specifically, I'm going to talk to you about... Don't lead with the fact that you pay people off to be okay with the loss of their family members. It doesn't set you up well. Lead with the ecology, buddy. Come on. Lead with the like, I'm doing a cert, you know, this is an endangered species. Come on, appeal to my emotions. Who exactly are you? And how do you develop such an interest in the beast? Count Borges, happy to be of service. As to the beast, well, this subspecies is our dynastic symbol. The Desalfareses have for centuries signed with the Regulus Platinum. As family legend has it, a female of the species rescued an ancestor, a boy at the time, from a burning building. She took the tyke back to her nest, where she fed him as if he were one of her own youngsters. Malarkey. To be sure, but <laughs> beautiful malarkey it is. I mean, I guess. Where's the basilisk nesting? Any idea? In your barn? I have an idea. But you don't really expect me to tell you. Those are not toy swords. I know your intentions. Find it myself then. Easy to track with its distinct paw prints. Mentioned two merchants. So I might also look for the other corpse. Let's see how he handles the dead here.
Silver Basilisk. The other thing is that I don't know that this is a... Uh... Mutual of Beauclair's Wild Kingdom. Okay, is this the... Uh... Uh, bodies of two merchants, no, monster of ample size. It says bodies of two merchants, so apparently there is a body around here. Um, I don't want to do this right now. I kind of, I, I happened upon this by accident. It's level 46. I don't want to do it. I'm going to, uh, instead, we'll come back to it later. Instead, I'm going to take a look at this silver basil. Ah, maybe I'll even save this for later. What does it look like, though? I do want to kind of see. Must have scrolled past it. Ah, it does not show yet. Okay, it's uh, it's dark right here. All right, I'm out. I can't do it. Sorry, Uh, you're on your own. I will be back eventually. Just stay here for approximately the next uh, two weeks while I do a couple other jobs. Uh, I think what we were up to is we were headed to this green mark to loot the bodies of the people that we uh <laughs> to loot the bodies of the people that we killed earlier in order to rescue the herbalist of the other thing uh so we'll do that and then it's back over to vermentino to clear the other side of the uh clear the other place i think oh that's a big drop please don't die Geralt with your incredible fall damage. All right, there it is. A dirty letter. I'll be short and to the point. If you're to, gra you're to grab Liam's herbalist and keep him from finishing production of that new one. Keep him? Leave the girl alone till I send more orders. Don't mess this up, you bum-brained beetroot. Was the herbalist and the girl someone different? I thought that was... Okay. Um, I wonder if the bodies despawned. I did have to close the game between. It was at the end of a recording session, so. Um, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. It's fine. We fell down in that hole, but we're all right. It appears that the, uh, the bodies may have despawned. Uh, okay. I also don't know exactly where I am, but we made it. All right. Well, we got the letter. That's what's important. Um, okay. Mad at me over there. Uh, all right. Let's get back to this uh, Vermentino side of things. And that's over here. So this trading post is where we saw the body. So we'll go here, but we want to avoid making any progress on that quest. Uh, do, are, are, do other people play this the same way? I, I'm curious to see if other... Uh, if y'all play the same way where... It feels kind of funny and, like... It's not like I'm... This is a, a game about immersion. You know, it's a game about... It's a game I'm going to spend a lot of hours playing and... Uh, it's not a, like, immersion-heavy game. It's beautiful. It's uh, gorgeous. I'm not saying it's not all any of those things, but, like... It is kind of immersion breaking to happen upon something, look up the level, be like, ah, oh, shit, it's 46. All right, we'll be back in a couple of days. Um, you stay there. <laughs> do other people do the same thing? Or, or do you guys like, if you stumble upon something, you try and do as much of it as you can and only stop if you have to because it's like a super high level or something. What am I talking about? You guys are all experts. You all know the, uh, like, you, as in you've played the game multiple times or watched multiple playthroughs, you're probably like, I only do the quests I want to, or I do quests in certain orders because they give you certain certain items, or. You can't pull one over on me, Witcher. I can All right, Roach, where are you? Come on, Roach. Three, one is, this is the close one. Let's go here. Roach. Where are you? There you are. 
Come here, you beautiful beastie. Come on, Roach. Come on, Roach. Oh lord. That's it, Roach. Stuck on vines. Oh, right here is where we fought the Leshen, I'm pretty sure. I think like right here. Oh. Alright. That does not look normal, Roach. This is some Skyrim stuff right there. <laughs> I'll just run, I think. Running is probably the smartest, the easiest way to get there. Oh, buddy. All right, hidden treasure. No archaspores. Is it just bandits? Rot fiends. Okay. Oh, I thought you were bandits. All right, so rot fiends are necrophage oils, which I did not apply. I should do that. We uh should apply the. Relevant oil. Getting ahead of myself. All right. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. So here's the thing I should be thinking about. With my current build, in order to make the most of it, we have loads of fast attacks, which are good. Um, I have a. Like, like I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, like, what should I be making use of here? Tons of fast attack stuff. I have adrenaline point loss upon taking damage. Um, oils, which give poison, which is incredible. I have uh, Axian dialogue, a couple Igni things, and then I have signs can deal critical hits. Um which increases with sign intensity and they explode. Okay, so that's all I got. I keep forgetting I have nine ability points to, to spend. We'll see if I can get these guys weak and then explode them with the... Uh... Ah! Oh god, you nearly killed me. I forgot that rot fiends just explode when you get them low anyways. So, all right, well, we tried. Uh, okay. What do we have here? You're locked. That say cherry cordial? That, what that just said? I think it might've. Let me get my Witcher page open. Hey, Cherry Cordial. Let's go. All right. Augustine Tonnelier and the key to the chest in the sunflower fields. Thick journal written in a steady hand. The last pages, however, contain different handwriting full of blots and crossed out words. A mysterious gentleman has come to me asking whether I would agree to sell him the stock of barrels we are preparing for the new wine variety. I refused him curtly, for I know how much the new wine means to Miss Matilda. I think we heard this referenced by the other group, right? On the other vineyard. And how much depends on this wine's success. After all, things have been very tight at the vineyard these last days. Maybe Matilda mentioned it. This extremely mysterious gentleman has turned out to be equally extremely wealthy. He came to me again with a very hefty pouch. Bum blast it, it will be very hard to refuse him if he puts me to that trial again. Today I forgot to lock the gates to the barrel storehouse. I'm very ashamed. But what can I do? Miss Matilda is crushed. Are we reading in between the lines there? He turned out to be equally extremely wealthy. He came to me again with a hefty pouch. It will be hard to refuse him if he puts me to that trial again. Today I forgot to lock the gates. I'm ashamed, but what could I do? Miss Matilda's crushed. I won't touch that coin until all... So, okay. No reading between the lines. You did do it. I've hidden a sack stuffed with Nilfgaardian florins in the sunflower fields. I would not want someone to find such a fortune in my home. He's paid me another visit. This time he wanted me to procure him the recipe for the new wine. I do have some honor. Barrels are one thing. I can make new ones, perhaps even better ones. But the recipe for the wine, I said I'd sooner die. 
Oh, wow. You do have some sort of uh, conscience. I said I'd sooner die. He gave me this strange look that shivers down my spine. I think I'd best barricade my doors this night. Find the chest hidden in the sunflower field. All right, well, there's that. RIP to that guy. And a little bit of loot. Let's go find some... Uh, money. <laughs> Over here. Sure. Oh, this is right where the, uh... Where the windmills are. Very pretty area. Oh, what's this? Prophet Lebiota's footsteps? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Question mark, and then the Prophet Lebiota's footsteps. This area is just like, it's so, it's so question mark heavy. Not bad. Ah, too many wolves, too many wolves. Too many wolves. There's too many. All right. Ah, I want to set you on fire. There it is. I feel a little bit bad. You just sort of sound like a dog. Okay. Uh, all right. What the fuck was going on over here? It's just the normal loot. Um. Pull out a torch. Look at me. Uh, a dead horse. Oh, God. A couple dead horses. Hmm. It looks like there's a marker here, though, on the map. Stay back, Roach. It's dangerous. Here you can solve a problem related to the construction of Lebiota's statue. I don't know what that means. I don't see a statue. Maybe that is referencing something that I don't yet understand. I don't think that I got a quest. Maybe that will be a quest in the future. Okay. I'm running through the woods, just looking just in case there's something overlooking the path that I don't see. All right. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to act like I never saw this. What the hell? Interesting. No idea. No idea. Let's go get that money. I have seen, uh, hilariously, there have been two kinds of comments in, uh, on this Outside DLC. Two kinds of comments. People seem to be very convinced that it's easy to make a lot of money in this DLC, or that there will be an opportunity to make a lot of money in this DLC. And uh, other people, around half of the <laughs> half of the people commenting, seem to be convinced that this DLC is just about pouring money into different projects. Uh, we're gonna see if we end up making more than uh, making more than we lose. All right. So there's that. Uh, let's get these two other things done and then we'll decide which of the two we want to do. This is so extra doing both vineyard, doing both uh, sides of this wine wars quest. I'm probably going to regret it by the end. I'll probably be like, okay, well, I spent a lot of time doing 
I just want to see what happens if I don't, if I, uh, you know, help them both out. I want to get to the bottom of the story. All right, let's go across here. I think we have to. All right. Get this guy on the road. Oh, I thought he was wearing a wig, He's wearing a hat. Okay. All right. We are close. Two more problems left for Vermentino. And this one's an Archer Spore. Motherfucker. All right. <laughs> Here it goes. Nothing. Uh, it's just been two days since I last recorded, but it is cursed. That's right. I was like, it's not relict. What's the name of it? First. First oil on our blade. And go from there. We have Igni. We have the explodes when ignited. All right, here goes nothing. Is it just one? Please, dear God, let it just be one. Okay. Also, we got to take the golden oriole. I always forget. Uh, golden oriole. There it is. Oh, we don't have any heals because I keep forgetting to meditate. Shit. Ah! Suck. I'm stuck on a raw a thingy. Where are you? Shit. I'm out of... Hold up. What's going on? Did I switch? Ah, I switched bombs on accident. All right, fire damage. Let's go. Damn it. All right, that hurt. Oh, God. Don't blow up. Uh, switch out for fish. Okay. I feel like I have to bait these things out and then go. Man, these stakes are so fucking tough. All right, we got this. We should get us close. Damn it, that hurt. There it is. Oh, Lord. Woo. I'm going to have nightmares about these guys soon. Arcaspores. The sun rises over Beauclair. Everything the light touches is your kingdom, Geralt. The beautiful DLC with the world's worst enemy, Arcaspor. All right. So, y'all put this place back together. I'm going to loot your dead. Oops, sorry. I'm going to loot your dead real quick. A letter to a lover. My darling Melanie, I write you this letter while lapping up the last rays of the sun, which is just now hiding behind the horrendous crest of Mount Gorgon. I shall not be a long letter for two reasons. The first, it will soon be too dark to write. And the second, I have important duties to attend to. I can't do it for too long. Miss Matilda has ordered me to see the security of the newly built vineyard on Pavone Slope and to see to it attentively, for ill business is afoot of late at our Vermentino. When not bandits, it's these yellow monstrous parasites. I'll spend some time there. Here, withering with longing for you, my darling, like a vine pining for the touch of life-giving light. Yours forever, 
Which, uh, Lawrence. There's a good chap. Thanks for the help. Uh, lovely truffles. Speak softly and carry a large stick? Wait, what the fuck? He's read her history. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't think I've heard anybody in this game uh, say that before. All right. Loot real quick before we get on with it. Anything good? Anything good? Not really. Lots of junk. All right. So, the final one of Vermentino. Giddy up. Giddy up, Roach. All right. What if Matilda, what if Matilda and Liam are both sing, uh, single? Maybe we could make them fall in love and that could be the story of how their, their two uh, vineyards became one. They could be uh, from rivals to lovers, the classic trope. Bukote Cave. Come Hello, on, Roach. sir, you're in my way. Come on, Roach. Keep keep going. From rivals to lovers. Nearly got each other. In fact, we did get... We sort of did get, like, tens, tens of people on each other's vineyards killed. But in the end, we thought, you know, we'd love each other more than we love hurting other people. Go, go. All right. Oh, this is a long one. All right, 200 feet, 200 steps away. And some wolves. Shit. And a ward. Damn it, and another one. Okay. Run. Run, Geralt. Run, Roach. What do we think? Is this last one going to be Arcaspores? Person in distress. I like those ones even better. Much better. All right. Just a couple bandits. They've done me some damage already. Ah, you fucker with the axe. He hit me with like... Oh, he's got like a mace. I understand. Club. He hit me with his club for half my half my health. God damn it. Alright, you were gonna try and explode. Oh yeah, look at that. You're both weak. Come at me. You whiffed. You whiffed. You ready? Fireworks. No? Either of them exploded. Herbalist's hut. I owe you my life, unknown knight. How were you dubbed? Dubbed Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. I like I your hair. Sir Geralt. The scully wags sought to demolish our herb garden, you see. I thought I shall take a hum, scare the rubble off, but to my great chagrin. There were too many, <laughs> and I, I failed. Tosan. Ah, there's no use crying over spilt wine. Come with me to Vormentino. I'll patch up your armor or pound the anvil to fulfill some of the needs you might have. Is this the most handsome man in Tucson? Sir, you look far too good to be a lowly herbalist. Fine, lead the way. And you don't even have red hair. What's going on with you, sir? You look like a, a distinguished... Old king. You look much more handsome than Radovid. Take me to the place. Show me around the people. The vineyard. Here we are. Is there some way I might help you? Yeah, you can sell me some freaking cockatrice stomachs and stuff. Uh, bandits aren't your only problem, I don't think. Vineyard's glory days seem like a thing of the past. 
It seems better times true. For bandits are not our only problem. Enormous yellow parasites, their ever-growing plague we also must contend with. Maid Matilda tries her best, but when folk fear to go out and work, what is she Maid do? Matilda? Is Liam married? Ah? Uh? Craft something for me. Craft something for me, can you? Can you repair anything for me? Oh my god. Repair equipped, please. Hell yes. Let's do some shopping. Oh, you've got 11,000. Fuck yes. Hell yes. The Reckoner. Oh my god. This, uh... <laughs> Oh, I've been listening. Uh, I've been listening to an incredible uh, podcast, D and D podcast, called "Not Another D and D Podcast." And in one of their later campaigns, one of the uh, characters who is very much a uh, uh, fuckboy, hilarious kind of douchey guy, uh, he gets he kills someone and gets their sword, and their sword was named the Beckoning Void. And he renames it the Rebeckoning Void, or Rebecca for short. The Reckoner is like... <laughs> Making me think of Rebecca. Uh, Rebeckoning Void, or Becca for short. Oh, okay. Anyways, um, we have plenty of items to sell to you here. All of these gauntlets that I've picked up. And that... Uh, let's sell you. I think I like, I know this is all plus 21, plus 21, but I, r I just think I like my stuff too much. Maybe I'll even sell Forged in Fire. Listen, it's 300, it's 300 crowns. What? Well, I, I have to sell it for 300 crowns. That's so much money. Um, same with. There are Canyon blinders we can sell. Blinders of the five chivalric virtues. And Ophiri stock saddle. All right. Uh, we're making some money back. What else do you have here? Can you sell me anything good? Glyphs. Sure, sure. Uh, some repair stuff. And then you're not going to have anything that I could use for making my items, I don't believe. There's no way you sell, like, alchemy paste, right? Wouldn't make sense for you. No. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, let me sell you some more things. Uh, those pieces of... Jewelry, and then what about a couple? I have 27 monster spores. That seems like too many monster spores to me. All right. Uh, hey, feel free to uh, skip ahead a bit if you would like. This guy's got 7,000 gold. I'm about to try and make as much money off of it as I can without uh, selling super useful items. Uh, if you don't want to skip ahead, that's fine. I'm going to be sitting here selling... 80% of a lot of my uh, here with the knowledge that I could buy lots of it back later slash I only need to keep stuff I think for making in terms of crafting I think it's just making the Grandmaster stuff uh, but I also want to complete this quest now before Today is done before this episode is done. Um, so just be aware of that. Uh, monster tooth, sure. Time radium ore. I know it's so valuable, but I'll just keep a couple. Time radium ingots. I can also sell for so much money. Listen, I can always find more dime radium. I don't know that that's true, <laughs> but, but I uh, Roach Roach needs a, a new bed. And frankly, so does Geralt. I've been meditating rather than sleeping. Um, 
Okay. First scrap. Nails. That seems useless. A little bit of iron. Sure. Coal seems real not great. Resin. Uh, gold nuggets. Sell that. Azurite is crafting. Malachite and green gold. Unrefined copper ore. I've gotten fucking plenty of it recently. Hunk of nickel. Diamond dust. We sell both. Uh, ruby dust. We sell. Some copper ore. Green gold ore is worth money. Uh, okay. Man, we've made a lot of money off of him. We're up to almost 10,000 uh, for ourselves. We have also put a hefty hole in our crafting uh, ingredients. But we've been keeping... We've been stockpiling this shit for forever. And... Uh, this is exactly the right person to sell it to. The person who has way more money in their uh, pockets than they know what to do with. Uh, okay. How am I feeling about that? Feels pretty good. I'm trying to see if there's any items that I can't... I always forget that some of it's behind the camera. Sorry, guys. 80 chitinous shells. I could probably sell 30 of those. Dragon scales. This feels really hard to come by, but... I'll sell it, I guess. Sure. I'm going to need so many of these items. I'm going to... Somebody timestamp all this stuff that I'm doing for uh, for the future when I'm very much regretting my choices. I'm going to need all of these items for Grandmaster Gear. I can just tell. Uh, just get rid of some of our things that we have, like, 80 items of and... Hit Q to quick sort. And that's better. All right. Woo! We're at 11,000. Let's go. Okay. Thanks. See you later. I don't know why I think he's uh, so attractive. It's not even that I, like, think he's attract. How do I phrase this? What's it's not even that I think he is, like... Step? Per like, I personally think he's hot. I just think he is, like, classically attractive. I don't know. Uh, all right. Let's complete this quest. Wine Wars Coronata or Wine Wars Vermentino. Let's go to the two of them. Although... It says, inform Matilda... Inform Liam, or third, the third thing is find the place mentioned in the letter. I will save before I do it in the case that I'm a little bit nervous that, like, choosing to solve or finish these level 37 quests might actually back us out of the level 42 quest. I don't know how it works. I'll keep an eye on it real quick, uh, and I'll save right before we do it. So that we can reload if we need to. Roach, are you uh are you moving slow or are my pockets just heavy with crowns? Heavy with crowns. I'm rich, bitch. I'm jingling. Ah. Oh. I'm jangling. Uh. Alright, you turds. I think I'm gonna choose Matilda. Master Witcher, have you any news? What? Both vineyards are fine. Solved your problems. Coronata and Vermentino can both go back to operating normally. What's this? Both vineyards? Why, that puts me in quite a bind. Yeah, you tried to give me then the problem. Let me release you. Sell Balgard to me. <sighs> Out of the question. Quiet. Do not dare to start that again, or I'll not sell to either of you. In light of the situation, I would advise the parties to form a partnership. What? You heard me. A partnership. That is my final decision. Now please, come with me. I shall show you your new property. Hang on, what about my pay? <sighs> A word once given. Do I get paid twice? Job is done, the pay is due. Take it. Just a minute. You got us into this bind. So now you must come and see it through. I've a strong sense we'll soon have more work for you. 
me and my dog did its new partner. Fine, I'll go. All right, let's go. So only Liam paid me? Maybe I should have done the job for Liam. I feel like Matilda should have paid me too. <clears throat> My desire for Belgard to pass into capable hands was no idle whim. For the vineyards fallen upon, I've been told of workers dying on their rounds. Monsters prowling about. Before anyone can call this home, they will have to deal with these um, okay. inconveniences. Beautiful. That is the minister's wish. More work for me, I guess. It certainly seems so. But if we're to make anything of this partnership, in itself a difficult notion, we must be able to work without hindrance or threat. Will you help our fragile consortium? Will you help our fragile consortium? Uh, I don't know. Talk about my paper. I can help, sure. But I won't work for free. Oh, the the quest is the quest money is good here. Nine hundred to thirteen thirty. I'm gonna try twelve hundred and see how annoyed they are. A bit less. Is hmm, that out not of bad. the question? Eleven fifty. It is eleven sixty. Fine. Let's go. We have a deal. I'm rich. I'll I'll help you. More or less already agreed, I guess. Oh, that's a weight off my chest, I must say. Your reward shall be fair, I promise. I'll get to work. Now that uh, Siri has saved... I was going to say now that I've saved the world. Now that Siri has saved the world. Flash. Yeah, I, yeah, I was involved. Uh, I'm In this third act of the story, I'm just becoming all about... I'm, I'm trying to pay for my retirement. Listen, someday Siri is going to have to go away to college. Okay. Uh, there he is. Obviously, trained enough already. Ah, Witcher, you're always a welcome sight in my vineyard. You guys are standing on opposite ends I'm of the. Counting on you, Witcher. Come on, just stand a little bit. Give me, give it a chance. You know, open the window, ex exchange some pleasantries. Maybe some love will blow in on the wind. You never know. Uh, all right, let's see what, what where these problems are. Let's find out where these are. Uh, that's a, a thing for another another day, but down here in the south. One, two, three, and then... Oh, is it just three? Oh, no. One, two... Oh, one, two, three, four. How am I... Oh, my gosh. One, two, three, four. Right there. I'm blind. Where's the fifth one? One, two, three, four. Is that it? Anyways, that's going to be for the next episode. I am swear to God I'm tripping. There's only four. Okay. Stopping sensation in my ribs. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Oh, man, fun times. Hey, uh, I'm just going to keep reminding you guys, but December uh, 7th and 8th, probably the ninth as well. We're going to be doing some Witcher over on Twitch if you want to join. Now would be a great time to go follow. Uh, that'll let you know when we're live. When, when we go live. Um, the follow button. We'll do that. Uh, hey, before we get any further though, shout out to one of our newest patrons over on Patreon.com. Muffins. Thank you for the support. This episode goes out to you. Uh, the love that I'm sure Liam and Matilda feel for each other is is thanks all thanks to you. Thanks for the support on Patreon and letting me... Uh, Take this video game thing. Uh, treat it like a job. I appreciate you so greatly. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode. Until then, who saw? I mean, <clears throat> bye bye.